Hello, today is Wednesday, June 22nd, 2022. Uh, I keep losing track of the day, uh, date of the moment. Uh, I don't know, I'm getting old or I'm not interested in the time passage. But I think it's a good thing. I am not strapped for time. Uh, here's an interesting article is uh, about blueberry, as I read another article yesterday. Uh, this one from South Africa, I think. I've never read this article before, but uh, the reason I'm trying to read this article is to get knowledgeable about the subject area, the blueberry, uh, at the moment, and also to practice English to, you know, I don't know, I like English. Uh, maybe in three years' time, I would move to America and live there for a couple of years. Canada, fine. Australia, New Zealand, also fine. Uh, England, maybe not. I am scared of the knife attacks there. Uh, anyway, let's get down to the business. Phenomenal growth in South African blueberry industry. Uh, sep September. Phenomenal growth in South African blueberry industry posted at 11.30 H hour, I think, in Oz Blue News, pressed by Alexandra Lewis. Zero likes. No share. This article was first published on Fresh Plaza. The, uh, the South, South African blueberry industry is in a period of robust growth. Due to high demand from the UK and the EU for blueberries in particular, as well as nascent domestic industry. That's a good expression. Nascent domestic interest. Nascent domestic industry. Beginning. Nascent domestic industry. High demand from the UK and the EU. It has been bolstered by a similar, if early, growth spurt in Australia, where many of the new cultivars used in the South African blueberry industry were developed. Three companies dominate blueberry production in South Africa Berry World, South Africa. United Exports in High Grove SA, an affiliate of UK based High Grove. Blueberry South Africa, United Exports in High Grove SA, an affiliate of UK based High Grove. Each company provides its growers with its own line of licensed blueberry plants, mostly focusing on low-chill unit blueberries. Berry World South Africa has the licensing rights to plants developed by the University of Florida. Like a snow chaser and jewel, as well as new Australia varieties. United Exports has invested in the Australian Early Blue Breeding Program, which is responsible for the Oz Blue series. These plants are based on the Southern High Bush Blueberry, an evergreen blueberry. Evergreen blueberry. The company produces blueberries worldwide, Chile, Peru, the USA, Morocco, man, Morocco. And I'd like to visit the country, though. Uh, it's somewhere between uh, Spain and the uh, uh, northern tip of Africa, African continent. Uh, yeah, Muslim country, very quiet, uh, very safe. United Exports has about 20 producers, roughly equally divided between traditional berry producing regions in the south and newer regions like Gauteng, Limpopo, and Northwest Province. 
United Exports has been involved in stone fruit, citrus, and table grape production for 15 years and new blueberry producers for the company in South Africa come from this pool of growers. Interesting. Yeah, stone fruit. I wonder what the stone fruit is. Maybe very hardy inside? Hardy seed, maybe? Spreading its production geographically and growing the berries out of the rainy season in each area, United Exports is able to produce blueberries in South Africa, 42 weeks of the year. Man, that's evergreen. Spreading its production geographically and growing the berries out of the rainy season in each area, United Exports is able to produce blueberries in South Africa, 52 weeks of the year, says Roger Horak. Managing Director of United Exports. Production is increasing dramatically, driven by demand. There has been phenomenal growth domestically, nascent domestic growth. We hope to develop the local market through our Oz Blue brand. Our varieties are very similar throughout the year. Therefore, we provide the consumer with a similar product and a consistent experience. A consistent experience with a similar product, with a similar product and a consistent experience. He adds that since it's a new product on South African supermarket shelves, as well as an expensive one, they want consumers to associ associate Oslo with tasty sweet berries throughout the year. The new low chill varieties are off the charts, better in taste, with better sugars and better flavors. The new low chill varieties. The new low chill varieties. Previously, berries were often soft, mush. M mushy and acidic, soft, mushy and acidic. The company expects to have 1,000 hectares of blueberries planted by the end of this year. Through increased production, it is hoped that the price of blueberries will come down locally over the next 24 to 36 months. It has been said that blueberries are where avocados were 35 years ago. Three decades ago, avocados were a subtropical niche fruit. Not a staple food it has become today. Not a stable, staple food it has become today. Subtropical niche fruit. Is that accurate? It seems a very fair comment, laughs Horak. It's a great product, an excellent snack food. An excellent snack food. An excellent snack food. With the increased plantings, United Exports estimates production of approximately 2,000 tons annually. Two-thirds of that come from the new berry-producing areas in the north of the country. The harvest season starts in the hotter north before moving south, peaking over August and September. Its production has increased dramatically over the past three years. It established the first plantings in 2013 and exported the first blueberries to the UK, its biggest market, the year after. Horak forces a 25 to 30 percent increase in global demand. For more information, Roger Horak, United Exports, telephone plus 27, that's country code, 
and 21, maybe 021, that's area code. What, well, maybe a mobile phone a prefix? And 851, there's a local code. And 1618, that's telephone number. Email roger at unitedexports.com.au. Yeah, I would be interested in working uh, with you and your company if I get paid a lot. I work for Korea Telecom and I am very smart and work diligently. And I have very creative ideas to... Uh, you know, make the business lucrative and uh, make the business generate a lot of dollars. Yeah, we could uh, coexist and cooperate and, uh, I don't know, co-happy? Share this, like this. Related, Sean Lee Jones, United Exports Group. Osblu makes more record-breaking waves with class-leading blueberries. Oz Blue, yeah, Oz, Australia, Oz Blue joins the cause to grow the South African agricultural sector. That's interesting news. Charlie Johns, Oz Blue, archives, categories, health facts, Oz Blue News Press, Oof. Oz Blue Berries. We are wishing the Northern Hemisphere a happy summer. Yes, enjoy the warm weather with blueberries, with bunches of berry delicious, <laughs> delicious, berry delicious snacks. Yeah, it's an excellent snack food. Blueberries are an, an excellent, excellent snack food. Excellent snack food. As blue blueberries. So uh, there are uh, several expressions that I would like to go over one more time, like a, a nascent uh, domestic demand, high demand, as blue, yep, uh, cultivars, low chill, low chill plants. The plants grow at a, you know, cooler temperatures than normal, low chill blueberries and evergreen. Evergreen, green 24 hours by 7 by 365 year round. Production, flavors, uh, low chill varieties, as blue, tasty, mushy, soft, mushy, acidic. Soft, mushy, acidic. Soft, mushy, acidic. Soft, mushy, acidic. Rainy season. Geographically different. Stone fruit. Yeah, let's look up what a stone fruit is. Okay. What is a, a stone fruit? Never have heard of it. Yeah, my secondary is just coming back from her chat. Uh, their Japanese class at 8 p.m. every night in botany. A droop is an indehiscent fruit in which an outer flesh part surrounds a single shell of hardened endocarp with a seed inside. These fruits usually develop from a single carpal and mostly from flowers with superior ovaries. Okay, so stone fruits is not a, it's more like a genetic term for fruits with a single hard seed inside at the core. Plums, peaches, mangoes, nectarine, apricot, pluot, cherries. Nectarine, plum, white peach, yellow peach, tree peach, mango, rain cherries, bing cherries, not bang cherries, yeah, bing cherries. Be careful, it's a bing cherries, not bang, banging. So, Eugene has come. 
Okay, um, phenomenal growth, phenomenal. Uh, snow chaser and jewel dominate blueberry production in South Africa. B Berry World South Africa, United Exports, and Haygrove SA, an affiliate of UK based Haygrove. Yep, thanks for listening.